All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got the man Talon. What's up, everybody? And we're gonna be doing kind of a review of some more gear. It's called the Grind. I've ne never shown it to you guys before, but it kind of is semi-related to cup waterfowl stuff. It's just their turkey line. So a little bit of a different company, but same guys. And today, we got a giveaway for you guys. So I have Talon here because Talon is the man when it comes to turkey hunting. He's been taught, he's had some people teach him how to hunt, and he's carried it on. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I don't know how to use the calls, so I need to call in professional to do that. Well, no, I'll review definitely. some of the other gear, but we're just gonna give our honest opinion. Yeah, give it a shot, see what happens. Yeah, and yeah. go over it and let you guys know, and then at the end, we'll tell you how you can put in for the giveaway. Don, why don't you go first with one okay. of the calls or something? Just pick any one? Yeah, well, do the ones that you gotta audibly do because okay. I don't want to, I'm not that guy. All right, <laughs> so first we have from the grind, it's called the cooker. It's a pot and peg slate call. We'll give it a shot. This is straight out of the package. No no scratching, no nothing. So usually usually on my slate, I'll take a little piece of sandpaper and scuff it up and then gives it a little more of a rasp. So uh, let's give this a shot, see how it sounds. But just a couple. This, I don't know how this is gonna sound, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. Not what bad. Not bad for not scratching. Sounds good to me, but yeah. what do I know? <laughs> That call on the big ones? Oh yeah, that works good. Good range. Right out of the box. Yeah, super simple to use. I mean. Oh yeah. A little purring? Yeah, I like so, it. Nice so would it be easier to, if there was, it was scratched up, can you purr easier too? Yeah, if it's if you got, take a little piece of sandpaper and you scuff it up, with your striker it makes it a little bit easier to use. Like I said, gets a little more rasp out of the call. I mean, for coming straight out of the package, it's a good sounding call. I mean, you just buy it, you wanna go to the turkey woods, you can take it just like this and It'll get the job done. So next up is uh, the grind, the sling pack. I kind of went over this and looked at this. It's pretty slick, actually. Tom, you can help me if I mess anything up. But yeah. all right. So inside, it looks like probably for a couple chokes. That would seem right. Yeah, chokes, shells, shells, whatever. Yeah. Got a couple slots here inside the front pouch, the main pouch. I mean, just your typical inside. Some netting. Put some stuff in there. Throw your lunch in there. Rain gear. Yeah. So uh, extra jacket, whatever you needed. Yeah. Then the top one, and I'm kind of like throw certain things like my keys or pocket knife or whatever, but I don't know what they got in here. Where they got this? Oh, that's yeah. good. that's a good idea. Yeah, little orange. Hiking step. your bird out, and you got yeah. this. That way, someone don't shoot yeah, you. Yeah, especially in the back. if you're by yourself and you're walking through the woods, and Hunter sees a fan, he's gonna be like, oh, okay. Let's see, I don't know if I open that one or not. The very front one. That's just a typical right at the front. And then you got the Molly setup. You can add more pouches on there if you wanted. And then on the side. I mean, what what would you throw in there I mean, in this little side? I mean, you could throw in whatever you want—a water yeah. bottle, yeah. even a small spot and scope if you needed something. Tripod and spot and scope. Yeah. And then here, I'm assuming you put your box call in here. Yeah. That's probably what and that's also, for. Yeah. And then right there, that's actually super cool. They got this little attachment oh, um, for your mouth calls. For your mouth calls, the mm -hmm. mouth call holder, you just slide that in, and then that is pretty slick. That is slick. I like that a lot. Have that right by each other. So there's that. So this is a. A sling. That's what it's called. The sling pack. So it's got a sling type. You can just just throw it over your shoulder, kind of like this, you know, on one side. So they got a quick which is kind of nice. They got a quick release buckle there too. I mean, if yeah. you're in a hurry, you gotta throw it down. Just snap it. And take you it can off. move it from left to right side, if, depending on which way, which shoulder you want it on. Yeah, I mean, this sling pack. That's pretty slick. Honestly, it's light. I don't know. Sometimes you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff and be all bulky. So I think that's a good setup. I really yeah. like it. Yeah, I definitely t over a vest. I mean. Then yeah. you got your pockets and everything. Having that right there, it's just easy access. Throw it down in front of you, grab mm. whatever you need. So here we have from the grind is uh, the breeder hen. Looking at the decoy, I mean, things built solid. Good color contrast. Looks like a good looking decoy, especially easy setup. So no stakes, you just take it out, set it on the ground. And uh, from a lot of videos I've seen, for some reason, the Toms love these breeder hens. I personally don't own one, but uh, I mean, if I was gonna get one, this is definitely what I'd be looking into for sure. Good paint scheme. Yeah, good paint scheme. Everything looks good on it. Now, I will tell you guys this. I used this once, but just to test it out, and I wanted to, we wanted to do a giveaway so we knew what we were gonna do. But inside, this is the gobbler, and it's it's just kind of bent up from uh, being in the package, but you can bend that down as a uh, beard. But, I mean, it looks really good if you're looking at it face on. It's got the, the little stake, and it can kind of spin with the wind. And that goes in the ground, but I'm gonna take that off just for the video. 
but then it's really slick in the back so I'm gonna try to show you up close there's a velcro strip and what we're gonna do is set the the fan right in it so you can see there and then this just unfolds out just a quick setup it look again. it looks really yeah. good and then you slide this little velcro <clears throat> strip through it's like a big old guy it looks good in. I mean it literally looks good honestly and it, it just folds in half so it's nice and then you can see in the back that's how it that's set up that'd be good turkey reaping decoy too because I mean lightweight to walk yeah like walking walk, forward walk with behind. it yeah because I mean look yeah. at you could grab it right here yep just hold it like that and just be walking towards it and if you never try that method that is that's been one of our key methods this year is actually using really using a fan but off having, of another bird or yeah, whatever off another bird and then we've just been taking a piece of plywood and painting it black but with that decoy right there, I mean, like you said, oh easy, yeah, easy grip on the handle. Yep. And I mean that's. And even I mean you yeah. even got all this now. Yeah. So here we got wet hen right here says the go-to box for wet weather from drizzle to downpours. Old wet hen still sounds turkey. Let's give it a test run. So for just coming out of the box, um, I've used multiple box calls i mean sitting at bass pro going through the shelves trying them out not having chalk i've never heard a box call sound this good i mean you got a good rasp coming out of it and usually when you use a box call brand new it's got a um, super high pitch a softer sound this call right here has a good rasp super lightweight actually it don't weigh nothing yeah it's it's yeah. i noticed it's smaller than yeah. my other box it's call. a lot smaller a lot it's like thinner half the size i mean I'm extremely impressed with that call right there. And guys, they're really, really fair priced on all their yeah. products. And, and like I said, they're quality because even their waterfall stuff, I really like too. Yeah. So next thing is turkey decoy bag. I can do that one. Oh yeah, I can use that <laughs> one. I know about decoy oh, bags. I can do that. So it actually fits up to three standard decoys. It protects the decoy's finish. Adjustable backpack straps, hunter orange safety flag, which is nice to have. And then the separate accessory decoy stake pocket can be used to carry harvested gobblers. So, I mean, get them. I'll just open this real quick. Talon's saying, why are you doing a giveaway? Oh, <laughs> come on, man. No. All right, so there it is. That's a decent size right there. That's a good size bag. And then it's got the, the sh shoulder straps in the back right there. And then in the front, like it said, it's basically an accessory pouch. The drawstring, stick whatever you want in there, stakes or... Snacks, or I mean, also you could even use this as kind of your uh, yeah. setup. Like, okay, this is what I'm gonna take into the woods with mm -hmm. me. So you can draw a string that. It's also got the safety orange flag, which velcros in the inside when you're not using it. And there you go. You can walk through the woods with it like that. You could definitely fit those two easy in another one no. for sure. Definitely gonna get the job done. All right. So right here we have the knee blind. Um, let's take a look at it. The only one I've ever really seen like this is uh, Richie's. Uncle Richie's. Yeah. Well, I don't remember what brand that was, but. Right that's here. pretty slick. That is super that's slick. That's why I was excited yeah, when I seen that because I'm like, those work. This good. right here be just breaks up your yeah your I mean, outline. Get behind it, set up. Mm, fancy. So it is stakes. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. That's so like that. Just fold the stakes. A little wider than we Imagine. have room to <laughs> hold up in here, but that's is probably that long. Oh, so you can put it all the way around you, like in a circle. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, you can do a 360 hmm. set up with that. Yeah, because I mean it's a knee blind, so you're yeah. you don't need that high. That's easy. Super simple. Break up, break up your pattern. Super great now. Just roll it up. You're rocking and rolling. Does it stay connected? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just bungee. That's slick. I wish I had this for archery season. Yeah, that's nice. Just breaking yeah. up a pattern. It works with any animal, whether it's deer, duck, turkey, or whatever. Break up your pattern, you're gonna be good to go. So I have blown one of these before. This is the crow call. Um, I've blown this brand and it's called the Crow Call 2. It says make them shot gobble, low kick gobblers, gobblers at high pitch tone. And uh, I'm not going to blow it since we're doing a giveaway. I do know these sound really good. It sounds really good to me, like I said. You guys will really like it. It'll just get that shot gobble that you're looking for. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use well, we it for the season. Out, but it's one of you jokers, you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got right here, it says Youth Beginner Mouth Calls. Um, series is uh, No Spit 2 and Little Red 2 Batwing. The top one is your uh, No Spit. 
So right there, it's a no-cut reed. And as it says on this package, it says a clear tone. Mm -hmm. And I've realized that using a uh, reed that's not cut, you get more of a softer purr out of it. A little more high-pitched. You don't get quite get that rasp you get with the cut reed. That's why they sing along that little red bat wing right there. Personally, I like the bat wing cut, especially on a double reed. This year, I used a double reed bat wing cut. These are calls sounding Yeah, sound good. it was one of my better sounding calls. You could use one mouth call, and I could sound totally different mm -hmm. with the same mm -hmm. one. But um, them giving you two options... I mean, you can't beat it. Whoever the lucky winner is, send us a video of you using it. See how it sounds, because we can't try it out. Cause yeah. Whatever. But, uh, but uh, like I said, just send us a video. and Yeah, we'd love to, love, love love to, to hear, hear it. how it sounds. All right, last but not least is the Night Glider. It's a owl call, um, early morning locator, power volume, gobbler locator. And this, I, I'm not sure I can... Even if I could, I can probably, I'd have to have no. some teaching to blow one of these. But um, I know some guys do with their voice, but this is also part of the deal. And this is another option that the grind has that you guys can check out and use for yourself by yourself. Or if you win it, it's just another thing to locate. It's amazing, like, what you can use to locate or get it triggers yeah. a shot gobble. I mean, just simply do it with your mouth. I mean, yeah, there's been times. I've done it and I yeah. can't even, I sound <laughs> yeah, I, terrible. We but. both sound terrible. I mean, like. You can go out in the turkey woods and, I mean, you could use a mouth call and for some reason, just a turkey elk, they won't respond, but you give them a little owl hoot and it's like something just lights, them, off, lights huh? them up. And you don't have to worry if we have not put our germs on it, so. That's the last thing uh, in this package. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be giving this all the way to some lucky winner out there. Um, turkey season obviously is coming to an end. Um, really, I think there's only like a couple states that even are still it's going. Open. I think there's like two states and they've only got a couple weeks left. So anyways, but regardless, nobody's gonna turn down an opportunity to win free stuff so you can use it for next season. And like I said, I. I think it's quality. Um, yeah. You know more than I do, and you yeah. said from, you like it. So. From looking at it and reviewing it, it's quality made calls, good stuff. Looking at everything that we did, I mean, well, I'd I mean, use all of it. I'd use all of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we're yeah, we're kind of a little jealous that somebody's else yeah. somebody's getting, getting it. it. But I, I honestly though, I, I do got, always appreciate your guys' support, and I know a majority of these people putting in for this probably are people that have been loyal to the channel. So we wanted to give an opportunity for you guys to win something, and I, I know you guys will be able to put it to really good use, so I'm excited about that. So what you do is go down in the link in the description below, right below this video you're watching, and you click down. It's going to be the first link. It'll kind of be like a blue highlighted color. It's a link. You click on that. It will tell you what to do, and there's ways to gain extra credit. You know, certain things will actually give you more points and give you better odds to win. So anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you um, hope you win. Hope uh, you win and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the content that we put out. And thanks, Talon, for your help. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yep. It's super cool getting to test them out. Congrats to the lucky winner. We'll see you guys on the next one.